We are getting word of a plane crash at this hour. This is a live look now at Sky 5 on the scene in Lincoln County, where emergency management officials tell us a small plane has crashed on Steelman Road. That's in the Mulberry community near Lynchburg Highway. We'll bring you more details as we receive them. And now an incredible story of survival this morning. More than a week after that massive earthquake in Nepal, rescue teams pulled another person from the rubble. A 101-year-old man was found alive under his collapsed home. Get this, with only minor chest injuries. More than 7,000 people are known dead. U.S. Marines are in Nepal helping to deliver supplies to some of the most rural areas where thousands of victims are in desperate need of their help. Back here, a case in court today could impact the Holly Bobo trial. Attorney Fletcher Long represents Jason Autry, one of the men charged with Holly's murder. He and former colleague Carrie Gassaway are accused of pressuring a client for more money and then having her arrested when she didn't pay. This is a jury trial and could last most of the week. If convicted, Long could lose his license to practice law. And unless you've been living under a rock, it's obvious Nashville is bursting at the seams. So you'd think all the new construction is bringing in big bucks for the city. But our exclusive News Channel 5 investigation reveals Metro is handing a growing amount of your property tax dollars to developers. Investigative reporter Ben Hall discovered some of Nashville's most recognizable buildings are essentially left off the tax rolls, leaving schools, fire and police with next to nothing. If you talk to people in the development community, I mean, their attitude towards TIF is, why not? I mean, it's like the two-for-one special. <laughs> um, going forward, um, there will need to be a discussion as to whether um, it's having a detrimental impact on the city's operating budget. We follow the money trail. Don't miss Building Boomtown tonight here on News Channel 5 at 6. And fans of Letterman, David Letterman, are savoring these last few days of the late night boss. David Letterman is winding down his 22-year run on CBS later this month, and they're taking a trip down memory lane tonight with a primetime special that you don't have to stay up late for. He'll be reminiscing with Bill Murray and lots of his legendary guests from the past right here on News Channel 5 tonight in an hour-and-a-half-long special that begins at 8.30.